Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever, wherever you are. Hello, Jane. Jane listens to the Sunday podcast, Sunday morning, when she's driving home from dog training. Excellent. Thank you, Jane. That makes a nice change because so many of you, it seems, listen in bed. And as I, <laughs> as I said a week or two ago, it seems that it sends everyone to sleep. I was saying recently, wasn't I, I could sell the podcast episodes as a sleep aid. There we are, five pounds, guaranteed to be asleep within 15 minutes. <laughs> no, seriously, is <laughs> podcast episodes aren't that bad, are they? I've been to Butlins, oh don't, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Thank you, Jane, lovely to hear from you. Today is now half past two in the afternoon, certainly not in the morning. 12 degrees C, 53 Fahrenheit, 94%. Wet in the air and 10 11 millibars. The wind is not quite hurricane force, but it is pretty strong from the west. And the day is Tuesday, I believe. Yes, it's Tuesday. Citra in law's 60th birthday. So we've been to Arundel, been out for breakfast, which was nice. Been to the wetlands. I love the wetlands. Wild, what is it called? Wetlands and wild fly. fly. I could never say that. Wetlands and wild flower. No. Wetlands Wildfowl Trust. It's a bit like red leather, yellow leather. I can't say that. Was it red lorry, leather lorry? I don't know. <laughs> Struth. I'm not going to bore you with butlins because it will be boring, but it was okay. It was kind of all right. No Wi Fi in the room, no phone signal in the hotel room. This is you know, quite a nice hotel. I don't know what happened there. We went to the chip shop in the evening. That was on the Friday, I believe. We thought we'd have fish and chips. That was closed. Closed on a Friday. I mean, Friday is fish and chip night, isn't it? So we went to the pizza restaurant, which is really nice. That was closed. <laughs> I forget what we did in the end. But it was all right. For a Butlin's Music Weekend, it was kind of OK. The only thing that really annoyed me was the DJ. What's that song? Shoot the something DJ or kill the something DJ. I forget the uh, the word I'm missing out. I think it begins with... Anyway, moving on from that, I'll just give you a very brief example of the DJ. Here we go. As you know, I don't like shouting. I don't understand people that shout. Why do DJs have to shout? I know what he was doing. He was doing his job. He was getting the crowd going. He was psyching them all up, ready for the live band to come on. It was very good. The live band, by the way, was a tribute to Fleetwood Mac. And the girl that was singing, she was a tribute to Stevie Nicks. She was brilliant. She sounded just like Stevie Nicks. If you like Fleetwood Mac, then it's brilliant. And I do like Fleetwood Mac. We went on, I'm not going to bore you with this, but on Sunday, we went for a Sunday lunch at the Fox in Felpham. I can highly recommend the Fox Inn in Felpham. That's I-N-N -N and then I-N. The Fox Inn in Felpham, if you see what I mean. The Fox Pub. Felpham is F-E-L-P-H-A-M. Felpham, just outside Bognor. We walked there, right along the seafront, blasting wind coming off the sea, Really refreshing. By the time we got to the pub, we were all ready for the Sunday roast. I had nut roast, as did sister-in-law. I forget what the others had. But if you're in that neck of the woods, have a look at the fox. Thanks for all your emails. I've heard from Ray, Bob, Mark, Jane, Susan. The list goes on and on. Dave, Colin, Rod. Hello, Rod. Nice to hear from you. Bob and many, many others. Really nice to hear from you all. Ray's rants at protonmail.com. I was talking to an old chap. He was in his 80s in the pub. Not the Fox. This was another pub in Bogner. No, we, we weren't doing pub crawls. We just, we went into town and popped into a pub for coffee, not alcohol. And there was this old chap in there. I got talking to him and he said, oh, you're from Butlins because <laughs> we got these wristbands, you know. <laughs> and I said, yes, I'm from Butlins. And he said that he remembered when that Butlins first opened. The first one opened in 1936 in Skegness. I'm not going on about this. It was just interesting to talk to someone at least 10 years older than me 
<laughs> there aren't many people. No, there are. And it was interesting. He remembers Bogner back then. He remembers the pier and how the town was and how Butlins used to be, where the chalets were sheds and there was the lake and all that stuff. Interesting. I remember when I was in my teens, I used to love talking to the old boys in the pub. Even when I was 18, 19, I'd find an old boy in the pub and go and join him, if he didn't mind, that was, and ask him about the old days, ask him about the war. And honestly, the stories some of them came out with, brilliant, absolutely wonderful people, lovely to listen to. I suppose it's like younger people now listening to me, some old boy going on about the 50s. They find that interesting because they weren't there. The same as I found the old boys in the pub, they talk about the, the 30s, the 40s, and even the 20s. Just fascinating to listen to. That reminds me, I watched Out of Town yesterday, Jack Hargreaves, 1982, I believe the episode was. It was MCMLXXX, 1980. I can't. Trish is good at working that out. I'm not good at working that out. But it was early 1980s. And fantastic to see old Jack Hargreaves in his shed. Well, it's not a shed. It's a, a set up on the stage in the studio, isn't it? And it was great. I really liked Jack Hargreaves. Who was it the other day said I look like Bob? No, not Bob Hope. Harry Worth. <laughs> Someone said I remind them of Harry Worth. Someone else said recently I look like Benny Hill. I mean, I can't look like Benny Hill and Harry Worth, can I? <laughs> it's funny because Trisha had a look at Harry Worth. We looked up some pictures and she said, oh, yes, there is a likeness. Struth. <laughs> Happy days. I remember a chap saying to me years ago, I look like Stephen Fry. It's strange, isn't it? People's perception. I suppose people see different people in other people. Or I don't know, other other people. Was it doppelganger when you've got a, a double somewhere? Anyway, I don't think I look like any, any of them. Got an email here from Gary. Hello, Gary. Not Gary the tortoise. He's still asleep, hibernating. Gary says, did you do dreadful things in your lifetime? Dreadful things, Gary. I'm not quite sure what you mean by dreadful things. Have I ever done dreadful things? Now, let me have a think. Well, I'm not a thief. I've never stolen anything, unlike that kleptomaniac cat. A lot of you like, like that story. That cat was mental. That's a true story, actually. One or two of you said, is that true? Yes, it is. Everything I tell you is true. <laughs> You're all shaking your heads negatively now. Seriously, what have I done that's bad? I suppose I was a bit naughty in my teens with girlfriends. I didn't really two-time anyone. Well, I might have done a little bit. Some of the parties we had in the 60s were fantastic. A lot of people would have a party at their house or their parents' house. The parents have gone out somewhere, so we'd all go round there. The parents knew we'd all go to the house and have a party. And there were people being naughty, not me, throwing toilet rolls out of the window, you know, things like that, hang on to one end, chuck the toilet roll out of the window. We put, again, not me, when I say we, I don't mean me, I was an innocent bystander. I remember in the fountain in town, this water fountain, packets of Daz washing powder all poured into the fountain. Of course, there's bubbles there. <laughs> that wasn't me. That reminds me of that record. Is it? Who did that record? Was it Shaggy? You caught me something making love to the girl next door. It wasn't me, he keeps saying. It wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. I didn't put uh, soap powder in the fountain in town, but it really did bubble up nicely. Here's the thing. Have you ever done anything dreadful? Raise rants at protonmail.com. Let's hear from you. Well done, Gary. Good question. Who has done something dreadful? I suppose, really, it depends on what you mean by dreadful. Anyway, we'll have a go. Let me know what, <laughs> what you've done. I would imagine all of you did something dreadful in your teens. Anyway, there we are, coming up to 10 minutes. I think that'll do for now. The weather looks awful. It's windy, dull, grey, overcast, gloomy, dismal. I'm still waiting for the summer. A lot of bulbs coming up, crocus, daffodils, bluebells. And the really good news is I didn't come home from Butlins with Covid, as I did the last couple of times I left there. Oh, before I forget, Jane, thank you for the podcast suggestions. You sent me a few ideas. I have had a listen to one or two, and they're really nice. Thank you for that. One more thing about Butlins. I'm not going again. 
that was my last trip to Butlins, Trish decided, well, we all decided, we had a little bit of a meeting and we decided that the the chaps, the three of us chaps, we'd let the girls go on their own. They go on their own anyway every September, sometimes in June or July. So they'll cut out the February one with us, you know, with the husbands, and it would just be the girly weekends on their own. Well, they're not girls, are they? They're, they're women. In fact, they're, they're becoming old women now. <laughs> I can say that because I'm allowed to. What shall we talk about this Sunday? Has anyone got any ideas? I shall look through my little book. I've got a little exercise book here. Ideas for podcasts that people have sent in. I'm going through the book regularly and I think I've covered just about most ideas. I'll have another look. But if you have an idea for this Sunday, let me know. Raise rants at protonmail.com. OK, I think that's it. I shall say goodbye. Behave yourselves. Don't do what I do. Let me know what dreadful things you have done. The guilty only need reply to that. <laughs> Look after yourselves. I'll see you on, uh, when will I see you? Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye for now.